Okay, so Crispy 2013 has been working hard to get the most out of his videos. Okay, so let's see what's working and what's not working within our current status, which is YouTube. So I'm actually talking in content to when I debuted back in 2008 with some sort of YouTube channel. And as you know, when you first start out, you have these ideas, don't you, in your head, which you think are going to work. But then you find out that they're not going to work because you run out of ideas. So what do you do? Well, you leave your old channel in the past and you create something completely different. So you create a more fresher channel, which is going to bring in, you know, our audience, our subscribers, our views and our comments. So where do you go from there? Well, you start off by calling out one of your subscribers and you do these shout outs because you want to kind of talk about them uh, to your best friend and stuff. So this one's to one of my uh, top 10 friends on YouTube, like the 3 d And um, I also got another subscriber that you can check out. Um, so we went ahead and I said, well, I've got this idea, but I don't know what to actually call it. And he said, well, what about something which is going to tie in with your current consoles and your collection and I said that would be you know a fantastic idea because it would tie in with what uh, I was going to currently kind of do and stuff so I said yeah I fit that in with my videos so I did so where do we kind of go from there well we were going to start off with that perfect introduction can go back to the very first video that I did. Um, so I would start this off um, with me sitting in the living room on the chair with the camera on the fireplace and I would talk mainly about the channel and what was going to happen. At that time I wasn't confident but you can kind of see what's happening now. We're getting a lot more confident now with what we're doing. And that's what you need to do. That's where you need to be with YouTube. So, we had those perfect pickups and those perfect, uh, you know, releases and old releases. And this was what's um, going to be coming up real soon. So, we was obviously still collecting at the time, back in 2008. And we expanded those collections each time when we were obviously heading off to work and I would pass um, on my day to work um, in the shop some of those major DVDs some of those major pickups and I thought yeah let's just see what we can actually find again um, to add on an extra part to that video and what did we do well, we looked at um, a classic film from the 1983 movie, Christine. My dad told me all about this um, when he was uh, obviously um, seeing my mum and stuff. Um, and they went on a date and stuff. Um, they would watch this uh, at the cinema. My mum wasn't too keen on it, but my dad liked it. He said... Oh yeah, I remember watching that. He says, um, what's your reason to picking it up? So I said, well, I want a, you know, older copy of it. I want an older copy of Christine. Could you tell me more about the story and stuff? And he said, well, this one's uh, about, you know, an automobile that's possessed. You know, nobody's driving it. It's driving by itself and it's killing all these people. I think you should watch it because you might like it. And... I think it fits really nicely with what you've got in your collection. So I said, yeah, I'll check the back. I'll see what the story is about. And um, yeah, I do have some of what uh, John Carpenter's actually uh, produced. Got this one now, which is my second copy and Vampires. So just wait there and I'll grab uh, Vampires. 
it's uh, over here so this is the second one as you can see both of them uh, is done by uh, John Carpenter um, okay so you know I'm in three bands and I was talking to one of my band members who's not a big fan of the John Carpenter movies but I said well I like them uh, this one's got Thomas in Griffiths in, who was in Karate Kid Part 3. And he plays um, one of the head vampires. Well, anyway, let's not talk about vampires. Let's talk about Christine. So we've, uh, we're really excited um, because uh, today is the big day. Um, so, yeah, looking really forward to that. I'm also looking forward to checking out some of the newer content and some of the older content from my collection because Halloween's coming up and I'm going to revisit one of the all time movies of all time from 1994 with Brandon Lee, Bruce Lee's son and as you know um, they had uh, a scene where Brandon Lee um, had an accident on the set and I won't go into uh, detail on it because I want to kind of remember uh, the actor as he was, you know, in those major films. Uh, I think probably one of the best movies that he's been in is obviously The Crow, Rapid Fire as well, Showdown in Little Tokyo, uh, Laser Mission and Legacy of Rage. All five movies. I mean, he could have gone on from there and did, you know, some of the other movies, but um, his life, you know, got cut short. And so did his father as well. So uh, let's remember the martial arts uh, master himself, Bruce Lee, and um, his son, Brandon Lee. So yeah, let's move on to what uh, you didn't least expect was going to come back to the channel. But, you know, from my collection, my WWE stuff... Well, I'm a huge collector and I love WWE and WWF. So what did I do? Well, I looked out for Volume 8 with Undertaker and Batista. So this has stuff from some of the older matches with John Cena, Shawn Michaels, Undertaker and Batista. Uh, no Way Out in 2007. We went on from there to 2007 again. And this was going to be for the World Heavyweight Championship match. Again, Undertaker was still going to take on Batista. And then they were going to have another rematch at Cyber Sunday, still in 2007. And they was going to have um, Stone Cold Steve Austin as the special guest referee. So, again... We was going to look out for some more John Cena older matches and some of his newer matches as well um, in 2008. But we haven't currently found those ones yet. We've just found some of the ones that um, he's faced, uh, which is Edge in Volume 3. So you've got the best of Raw and Smackdown. You've got one from 2006, which is for the WWE Championship match. You've got Mick Foley as the referee. Uh, you've got Rob Van Dam, John Cena and Edge uh, in 2006, uh, which is um, a triple threat match uh, where whoever gets the first pin or submission is the WWE Champion. Uh, we've also got Edge again. As is Cena, still for the championship at uh, Saturday night's main event. Uh, this one is uh, on a stage and it's a huge match. It's a huge title match. Uh, will Edge uh, pay for Lita's uh, interference? Uh, we don't know because we haven't seen it yet. But I think I might have uh, watched it back in the day. Uh, it was a very long time ago. And then we got one from 2006 as well, uh, which is the old steel cage match, which always pops up when they're having matches as well uh, in Hell in a Cell. 
that cage always comes down and the wrestlers get trapped inside the ring and there's no way out um so yeah another classic wwe um pickup with volume three of best of raw and smackdown cena and edge volume eight undertaker versus batista and john carpenter's movie christine so as always what do i say to my subscribers at the end of any video any introduction please like please subscribe please like my content and stuff and i'll see you in the next video bye